Welcome, Welcome back, back to the Unholy Trinity podcast <laughs> with your voice. <laughs> that, that was so funny. Because <laughs> as you may notice, we are only two of the Trinity at the moment. Oh, if that makes us a duology, I think that's just duology. Two, two things. Duo. A duo. Oh, yeah. With a dynamic duo. The dynamic duo. Yeah. The duo squad. You may be thinking, well, we'll just start off straight up with, you may be thinking, yo, where's Sun Man? What's he up to? Um, he is currently on a vacation from the this In podcast. In Because of... Um, uh, he, he took uh, parental leave. Uh, mater maternal Paternal leave, yeah, to be specific, because yeah, yeah. he's, he's a father. But yeah. Congratulations. With many children. Congratulations. <laughs> he's the Genghis Khan, modern day Genghis Khan. I wish I could be like him. For real. Um, um, oh, just off the bat also. So, basically, sonny has got a head start on us. <clears throat> because <throat> we will all be... <clears throat> you want to continue my thoughts? <laughs> we'll be all coughing and... Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're basically. taking a two-week hiatus because it's the holidays and holiday time. Oh, and summer break. Coming. Summer break. Basically, We're taking right? a two-week summer break after this. Um, we will keep doing our scheduled House of the Dragon stuff, and I don't know if we have any other YouTube ideas. I guess in the meantime, you can enjoy our, our upcoming YouTube videos. Yeah, the YouTube clips. stuff is going to so be popping off. I think, yeah, we'll keep on that. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's kind of it with that news. We'll be back, I think, on the... Well, we'll probably be recording on like the 19th or something. I don't know. Is that right? Yeah. That sounds like uh, a Sunday. <laughs> the, the, the third I Sunday of July, yeah. I assume. Um, so we'll be covering, I guess, whatever's been out but in that two-week period. But it's like... Probably uh, uh, Deadpool. Uh, no, that will be the following week. No, after yeah. that. So we could kind of okay. do like a what we did, like a things I watched I... two weeks or whatever, oh, yeah. and two then the week, following yeah. we're just gonna go back to normal with Deadpool, which is the movie exciting. The movie exciting. I'm excited for. Oh, they released the yeah, clip of Deadpool fighting Sabretooth from the not Deadpool Wolverine fighting Sabretooth from the uh, original X Men movie back in the Oh. Yeah. Cool. Was that not released previous? Um, in the Deadpool movie. footage. No, no, Deadpool, in the Deadpool movie. I mean, Deadpool script. Yeah, but what? you're saying this is footage from the the old movie. No, 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 no. It's it's he's he's just back. Was oh, back. the guy's yeah. back. All right, the guy's like back. A, this is like the Spider-Man No Way Home of the X-Men. Yeah. yeah, which is why I'm really excited because the X-Men movies, you know. They, they're, they're the OGs, they're, man. They're, they're I remember good, when right? Charles wasn't bold. That's insane, dude. Anyway, yeah, pretty excited for that one. But yeah, that's just a, I guess, a podcast update. But don't worry, we will be back and look at our YouTube channel, Unholy Trinity on YouTube. We're gonna have that's some right. fire content coming out, like Dragon. But... And Despicable Me Four, uh, Sunman edit. Yeah. Soon. Yeah, yeah. And we also have an incredible backlog of podcasts, if you haven't heard any of the That's previous That's right. Stuff. We're on episode, uh, like, 72 or something. 72? Yes. And then if you factor in all of the episodes of the Unholy Trinity Through the Lens stuff, we must be in the 200s now, right? Yes, it's been a solid three or so years, I assume. Yeah, we started in 2020. Yeah, or some, some part in 2020. <laughs> Shit. So if you want to watch our reviews of films that came out two years ago, three years ago, you are most welcome. Yeah. Very insightful. The audio quality is probably worse. And um, video quality is also probably worse. And then you'll be like, yeah, wow, look how they wow. <laughs> you can You yeah. can see I've grown taller. Maybe in this frame you can see because this chair is slightly taller than your chair. I look taller. Did you go taller? No. <laughs> no. 
My yeah. genes have failed me. Actually, when you do that uh, crop edit of like me and Sunny and then you in the middle, you're just <laughs> really <laughs> short. Have you noticed that? Just like a little little guy. Oh, yes. Yeah, kind of yes. Yeah. Anyway, shout out to all the short kings out there. Shout out. What have you been up to? Um, mostly I've been occupied with a film shoot the past week. Yeah, yeah. You, you may have seen some little photos have, here I and have, there. Yeah. yeah. So I was part of a shoot for a short film where uh, these cowboy fellas or I guess gold miners were searching for yeah. gold and shit back and set in like 1800s, late 1800s Australia somewhere. And it's an it's a Irish guy, one Aussie, I guess two Aussies, and they were searching for gold, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The drama between them. Yeah, it's a bit of a drama. You know, that's how it is when you talk about the cash money, you know? When they find gold, they have to figure out how to split it, you know? But sometimes people get greedy, a bit greedy. They, they start doing backflips. <laughs> they start stabbing backs. <laughs> Yeah, just they, as in they go, they backflip on their words, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a period drama. Yeah. But, the, you know, the, the location is pretty cool. It's out in the eastern regions of the, the bush. There you go. You should pull up at uh, Tsukumo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, they made, like, a makeshift mine. They made it? Yeah, Ooh. using like fences and top yeah, on the yeah. side of a hill. So that you, you get the dirt and shit and the rock yeah. by digging in the, the hill, but then you cover it up with the fence. Yeah. So it kind of looks like a mine. Yeah. So props to them, production designer, whoever. Props. Props. Mm -hmm. And like everything kind of looks good. But so, and hopefully it'll turn out well. Uh, we didn't finish the shoot because they ran out of time. So maybe more and more uh, add-on days Reach. in the upcoming future. Just like, you know, just like Hollywood. Oh. Well, actually, what Hollywood would do is go scrap all of that with the old again. Oh, uh, yes. And add on an extra month. But this one, no budget. I get paid with spaghetti. <laughs> really? Pasta, yeah. Pasta, yeah. yeah. That's, that was my week, mostly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was your week? That was my week. Dude, I think I did, like, fuck all the work. Uh, Assassin's Creed. Odyssey. Odyssey. Playing Odyssey. Odyssey. Um, that's... It's gonna take me a long-ass time, because it's the longest one. No, Valhalla's, like, a little bit longer. But it's, like, it's apparently twice the length of Origins or something. Origins yeah. took me a while. I'm getting there. Um, yeah. I don't know what else I've been doing. I had my Friday off. What I do? Play Assassin's Creed. I saw a quiet place. Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, yeah, I did watch some stuff. I watched a quiet place part two because I haven't seen that one. Um, and I thought it was pretty, pretty good. And actually, a lot of stuff from that kind of bleeds into this, with the, the way water works. Mm. And um, maybe a reoccurring character who is in part. So this one is a pre. Right? Yeah. Day one. Yeah, I haven't watched the previous installment. I think the previous installments are good. Yeah. Uh, John Krasinski's directorial mm. debut. Uh, it's his franchise, pretty much. This yeah. is a different director. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Quiet Place Part 2. Pretty good. I actually really yeah, like, like how they did the day one thing in that movie. They have, like, at the start, it opens with, like, basically day one, but it's, like, a rural area mm -hmm. in America compared to, like, the city in this one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Funky alien fellas. Yeah. Apparently they're called the Death Angels or something. But no, no one like really true. refers to them as that. So I don't know. What do they call them? 
don't want, I don't know. They don't really <laughs> talk a lot. <laughs> they don't talk. There's more talking in this than there's been in the entire franchise. Damn. So this is the one. But, um, yeah. Um, I feel like I watched more. Hold on. Let me pull up the old notes. Oh, I watched something oh, yeah? out of our list. More Doctor Who. Jeez. Yeah. Okay, so I watched two more episodes. So that's episode like four and five. It was weird. Episode four was like very probably the most Disneyfied Doctor Who episode ever, in my opinion. As in, like the... maybe maybe not yet. I haven't watched the rest of the season, but very it's cutesy. like very yeah, very cutesy. But you know, it's a space adventure, but. But like Disney Doctor Who Space Adventure Disney I keep repeating that I guess every every review. Yeah. But this one's like the most yeah. Disneyfied. I feel like it's it's kind of low stakes in that in that sense. But also they they try to be like, oh, this is important. We need to do this. But then they make it low stakes anyway, mm. or at least like predictable in a way. It's like a kids show would be predictable. Yeah. But then the episode after that, they did flip it around and create like a banger. Like banger. A, not not exactly a banger, but they they do they do an old school David David Russell. What's the guy name? David T. David T. Tennant. No, no, the the writer guy uh, who's back on the show. I think the okay. next episode was like mostly him on the writing, and that made the episode like. Quite more a complete, it's a complete contrast where it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, this is actually kind of sad and deep. Yeah. And like the doctor was not in the episode for eighty percent of it. It's just the new companion. Oh, and like, I guess it's a character exploration character for her. Study. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. But then at the end, they just be like, all right, that happened. Ain't that great? Let's go on our way. Well, that just happened. Yeah, they just say that. Well, that just happened. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's like weird. Yeah. But it was actually kind of good. It's like old school Doctor Who deep thinking. Yeah. But then they flipped it again at the end where they just did that. Man, I need to catch up on Doctor Who. Yeah. I'm still watching the uh, Peter Capaldi season. Mm -hmm. Those were good seasons. Yeah. The last one I watched was um, when uh, Clara was a Dalek. Oh. My yeah, yeah, really, really far back. <laughs> yeah, that's like three seasons back. That's not too bad. I could catch up with three seasons. Oh, uh, maybe. How many seasons was uh, Lady Doctor? It was three. Was it two? It might be like five seasons back. But yeah, it's almost like Russell T. Davis here. He wanted to make a good old doctor who episode but like he has to bring it back to well that just happened and go back to kids land yeah for... mm -hmm. it's crazy man well uh speaking of disney i guess <clears throat> i am now here to present your weekly acolyte update Ooh. yeah i wonder if we're gonna review this one because i don't know well, I, you kind of already, already know this because I was texting you, but for the yeah, audience, I was like, damn, episode five of The Acolyte is kind of good. I don't think it's great. I think it's like just good, you know, like a kind of like six out of ten vibes. Because you know? mm. like the rest of the season previous, I was like, damn, the writing's kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. But I mean, this is the worst Star Wars I've ever seen. It's more interesting than Boba Fett. I still maintain that. Boba Fett was boring as the whole hell. But right like a band. Yeah. Um, but oh, yeah, yeah, episode five was actually kind of cool because it was mostly action and the choreography is actually like pretty good. In fact, like it might have some of the better lightsaber jewels that I remember. Better than like the sequel trilogy, at least. Yeah, because they're also borrowing inspiration from The Matrix. I think I already told you that, that yeah. in the first episode. And even in the, in the first, first episode where some people were like, oh, this is a bad, bad episode, episode, but action's good. I was like, nah, I think yeah. I could do better. And then this was what I meant by they could do better. I think the lightsaber fights are a lot 
a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah um, there's also... Oh, it's kind, it's of, kind funny of funny because we watched the Game of Thrones uh, second episode and without spoiling that one. Um, do you remember how it's like, oh, the fight was not good? Yeah. It feels like they're kind of holding back from the brutality and stuff this season for some reason. It's like less violent. Yeah. The acolyte, acolyte is more violent, violent than that one, it feels. Because like, like, even though this is like, like a, an actual like show for like, I guess like kids and families or whatever. And it's not it's like, like there's like blood and gore in this, but like there's still like pretty brutal stuff. Like they start uh, killing yeah. off main characters. I won't spoil just in case, um, if in case we review it. But um, they start That's killing off main characters, and it showed that there's like no plot armor in the show whatsoever. And yeah, I, I, I'm yeah, thinking yeah, about yeah, the entire show. show it's like, like damn, yeah, 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 they're always when character shot, they kind of instantly die in this show, which I guess is good. So like, if you hate a character, they're probably going to end up dying. And uh, this one killed off a uh, bunch of, yeah, a few main characters. Some of them were, like, really interesting ways. Like, there's, like, this one kind of, like, reveal. Because they've got, like, this main villain. And it's the villain that, like, I knew this guy was the villain. And there was meant to be a plot twist and they reveal it, but it's so obvious. And they, 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 they just did it, the thing. But um, they, the actual reveal is pretty cool because it's, like, a Jedi fighting him. And then if you see his mask come off. But, but the Jedi, the Jedi is covering him. That's so okay. like you can't see who he is, right? And then yeah, suddenly, suddenly three, three lightsaber light holes just go through the Jedi in front, killing scared. her. And, and then, then um, and this, this is the main, main character, character, by the way, to kill off the main mm-hmm. character. And she just dies. And then you get the reveal. And that was, that was actually like a really cool shot and all of that. Um, he straight up just snaps the main character's, character's neck, just like straight up, like brutally fucking breaks, breaks the neck, which, which I don't think I really see in Star Wars because it's usually like, well, lightsabers and all of that. It's not that faded. Is a bit of a choke. Yeah, but this one, choke. he just he grabs yeah, the guy by the head and elbow. Oh. And I was like, "Holy shit!" That was actually kind of brutal. Dang. And that was cool. Um, the villain is interesting. I think his performance is a lot better than the other character he was pretending to be. Um, and he seems cool. But then also doesn't have enough depth, which is my complaint about all of the characters in the show. Even like Thol, the guy from Squid Game, he's cool, but there's no depth to him. He's from Squid this Game. Guy. So I hope they give him more stuff. Um, there's also and he kind of gets defeated in the episode in a very Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania kind of way. I feel like you know what I mean. They get small. Nah, you remember how Kang gets defeated in that movie by that? It's just an um, army of ants, bro. Like, yeah, the exact same thing happens in this episode. With ants? Uh, well, or not the ants. They're in space or whatever. There's, like, space, space creatures. Damn. Like, bugs or something. I guess the that's a spoiler. Like... That, was, that was really dumb. But, um... Yeah, this is the best episode so far, and I just, I'd say it's probably an actual good episode, considering... Just like it was mostly it was, action, and the action was good. Mm. Quick thing, can you tilt your mic more this way? This way, yeah, you can. Damn. When you tilt your head to me, yeah, that's out of it. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, here yeah, that's your acolyte update, and um, yeah, and it's, it's funny, funny, yeah, because they're doing the exact, exact same. Uh, without, without spoiling it, they're kind of doing the exact same plot line that. Game of the, or House of the Dragon did this week, so it's um same level writing kind of. Oh no, I assassination. Guess, well, I don't know. They've just set it up, so we'll see in the next episode. But because uh, it's the compulsory, if you have twins in the show, you have to do oh little the thing, switcheroo. Yeah, which I kind of like. Okay, that's like the trope of all tropes, you know. Tropes of all. Time. It goes back to Shakespeare, actually. If you're familiar with um. Well, it's probably even old. Well, I'd assume it's older than Shakespeare because Shakespeare's like relatively modern, but like mm-hmm. he did like, like uh, Twelfth Night. If you ever remember studying that, maybe at some point in high school. I don't think I ever nah. studied Shakespeare. Really? Because I left. Damn. Oh, well, yeah. Perhaps you've seen the movie. She's the man. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> you know, that uh, one? That's a Shakespeare adaptation really? with the stuff. Is it like a. Uh... That movie, White Girls, where the guys become white girls. No, I don't. They've been probably not. It's like, well, 
Pharaoh. Who's that guy? The, the guy. I know That's Terry right. Crews is in it. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think it's Will Ferrell. Ferrell. Oh, he was in it. He's an actual white. Yeah, but he turns into a white. Oh. Girl. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that's the acolyte. Um, have you been watching uh, the boys? I haven't watched the newest one that came out a yeah. couple of days ago. So I was going to talk about the newest one. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. Great episode. Um, they seem to be wrapping up. They wrapped up Huey's storyline. In a mm. really, actually, emotionally impactful way. Had me, had me shed a tear, you know. I was like, "There, yeah, this is good stuff." So it was well done. Huey. Um. So my, my kind of complaint a little bit with just like the overall story of this season is. Remember when episode one where they go, he uh, Butcher says the direct thing about oh that virus they were cooking up in the labs, it won't work on Homelander, right? Yeah. He says the exact same line in episode five again. And I, I it gave me a bit of a moment of like, did I imagine it in the first episode? But anyway, that that aside. Okay. So then I was kind of like, without spoiling it too much, because it, like, it doesn't really go in that direction. But so my, my initial thing was like, damn, we were, when they were trying to assassinate um, Newman in the first episode, I was like, why don't they just use the virus? And, and it, it takes, takes them five episodes, episodes to think, whoa, what, what if, if we kill her with the virus? virus? That's, That's what that f- fifth episode's about. They forgot, and because, we'll... I guess Butcher said, the virus won't work. On Homeland. On Homeland. But we didn't think about it. No, no, no. So it feels it like, like... This is where the show should have started, at episode five, mm. kind of. And now we're kind of... But made that episode one. Yeah. So it was a little bit like... I don't I mean, know. I feel, I feel like, like the season might like, be more predictable than I thought it's going to be, maybe. Right, right. I don't know. But we got uh, one episode left. No, we've got three. Oh, uh, it goes eight? Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I still so, really... This is still my, probably my favorite episode so far. It's just in terms of the overall episode in, uh, pacing in the series so far. I'm kind of like, hmm, interesting. Why are we doing this now when we could have done it at the start? Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I got a theory. Uh, it, it, it doesn't affect episode five, so you might jump on this. Okay. Um, the guy from The Walking Dead that's in the show, which the guy? Butcher talks to you. Oh, uh, the, the FBI, yeah. oh, CIA guy. Yeah. Do you reckon he's in his head, not real? Oh, he's also you know dead. how he's like hallucinating yeah. his wife, and she's kind of like the good side, I guess. Yeah. FBI yeah. guy is like the bad side. It's like, you know, right. Good personality, yeah, yeah. two phones, two emotions. Baby keep what to say. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means CIA guy also dead. I reckon. Probably in his right? Yeah. Oh, you watched watch episode, episode four, four, right? Yeah. You know. He's probably, he's, I think he's got venom powers. Because he kills, kills that, that dude at the end of the episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the, the venom powers. Yeah. The venom. He blacks out and I guess kills the dude with whatever the venom stuff inside him. Funny worm yeah. venom. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. I guess we'll see what happens in the next episode. I, re- I feel like the is the storyline in the season going to be like they're trying to kill Newman and that's the end of the story of this season? Maybe. And then they'll tackle Homelander in the final season? Well, they're still trying to get their boy Roy in it. Yeah. Have, Have you seen, seen all those memes on Instagram of Oi, 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 Homelander took me bloody fun. I sent like one yeah. this morning. I keep getting funner with that. Yeah. <laughs> Show Randy done yeah. took me son. I think next week they might be bringing in uh, their yeah. version of Spider Man. So that might be cool. 
Ah. Yeah. Don't yeah. All right. Shall we? Shall we move on to the main? Get into the meat and in potatoes. Yeah. What do you want to talk about, mate? What do you want to? Mm, mm. Oh, oh wait, wait. One other thing. Um, I've been watching the Bear yes. season three. That just right. stopped. They did all the episodes that? one day, so I'm two episodes in. Um, pretty good so far. A couple of bagged episodes. Because it was funny because I watched, I watched the acolyte, acolyte, acolyte like this dialogue's awful. awful. Then I watched, I watched the bear yeah, and, and the, the dialogue is so good. good. Like, like it's, it's like they're, they're not, not. It's not like complex, complex dialogue or anything, but it's just like, like the way the that characters saying things and the way they interact, and it's like all done realistically in terms of like the characters. They're not constantly switching their fucking motivations and mid sentence and stuff like they do in the fucking acolyte. I mean, how are you going to do that in a kitchen setting? There's a lot of like, drama, um, mate. They'd be like, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to finish this burger. I'm, I'm just not. There was, well, there's, uh, there's a great scene in episode two where there's two guys just screaming fuck you at each other. And it was so nuanced the way they used fuck you. It was it's oh, multi so good. Yeah, because whenever, like, one guy would be like, um, damn. Yeah, yeah, your yeah, idea is sort idea of good, but fuck you. And then he'd go, fuck you, and then it start again. And then everyone would be like, shut up. And then it was like, so good. And then, and then they, they try to have multiple conversations, conversations at once. Mm-hmm. I know, because like, like, they're humans and they're like, no, it's not like, like you know, not like they're not talking on a script all the time, you know, yeah. but obviously they are, but it's like, characters, characters are always talking over each other. And yeah, they just do a great job with that show. I, I've, I've always, always forgotten, forgotten what good dialogue sounds stuff. like because I feel like I haven't experienced good watching. dialogue in a while. The House, House of the Dragon says good. good dialogue. But too British. Too, yeah, I don't it's understand what British. you're saying, bro. The only, only British, British I understand is oi, oi, oi. He took me wife. Yeah. Yo, the comedy yes. truck is back. Yo, yeah, we haven't heard the. the I was struck in a while, have Yeah, we? no. Mm, that's crazy. Fucking trash. Well. Yeah. The bay. Maybe I should watch that sometime. Yeah, it's a really good show. You will be like, damn, is yes. this what it's like working in the kitchen? And I will confirm, yes. I'll be like, damn, good thing I don't work in the kitchen. Well, there's um, generally everyone at my workplace that watches the show Watching the show all stresses us out because we're like, "Fuck, this is this is exactly how it." Is. And then, um, in the first season, the second last episode is a one take sequence of mm. a really busy day at work when they accidentally forgot to like stop orders or something, and then they get like a million orders at the once at the same time when the moment they open the store, and it's them trying to serve all that shit. And like, yeah, yep, that's, that's like, like something that would happen in my place. Mm-hmm. Fucking. Like a million Uber orders pile in or something. We actually had like a lock lockout yesterday, so we had like a, like a school came in. They used the oh. entire restaurant and all that. Damn, yeah. you can do that. You can just buy out the restaurant for a day. Yeah, well, they spent like over a thousand dollars, I believe. Damn. Yeah. This these kids got real catering. Yeah. It was only for a couple of hours, like from yeah, yeah. when right when we opened. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, what do you want to talk yeah, about? Let's talk about. Let's talk about the smiling friend. Yo, smiling you know, friend. I watched. I finished that this morning. Yeah, it's a real easy watch. Yeah, yeah. You can watch the entire season in like literally like mm-hmm. an hour, maybe oh, an hour. Yeah. Throw ten. Yeah. You remember when I forgot? To uh, join y'all, watch the rest of the season. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead, I just I think I just fell asleep. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I, I was talking to Thomas, and I was like, yeah, I think Dio fell asleep. Real. Yeah. Anyway, are we? Uh, did we ever give our thoughts on the first season? I feel like we did at some point. But yeah, we're we're fans, right? We fans, you yeah. know, Michael Kuzey, mm-hmm. top bloke. A fellow Aussie from uh, Woomba or somewhere. I reckon I this, his name. Yeah, I think this is my favorite thing that he's done. Right. Well, it's his, uh, is it his first TV show? 
need to boil the man or my thing. Oh, I guess, yeah, that was, that was on TV. It was yeah. not ABC. It was on Hulu. Uh, Hulu. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he did this Rick and Morty Bush for Adventures. Oh, uh, yeah. Because yeah. Smiling Friends is a... He's, he's co-creating it with a, another dude. Like so an American yeah. guy. So it's more accessible, probably. Yeah, a I bit. <laughs> I don't know. It's more accessible I mean, to an international audience, I reckon. It's still, like, like very, very much a... a yeah. But still a, a very, a, very much adult swim yeah, show. Yeah, it really yeah. is. Yeah. It's Rick and Morty's Bushworld adventure, for real. And it is. Um, but yeah, so, yeah. so we, we liked, liked the first the season. season. We did. Good. Yeah. This season... I reckon right. it's, it's like literally the same, bro. <laughs> it's more... It's kind of the same thing. Well, they got the formula with the show's like Yeah. The smiling friend gets the smiling friend request. Yeah. Oh, and well, they, they really make, make fun, fun of that as well, because sometimes yeah. they'll be like, yeah, yeah they, they get, get requests, requests, but it's, it's like, like someone they don't want to help, help, and they're like, yeah. but, but you have, have to, it's your job. Like, they, they did a funny bit with Jared Fogel. Jared Subway. Yeah. And that that was a funny joke. Um... Yeah, and, and uh, that's the first episode with that really muscular guy who kept bullying. Oh, the fisting, yeah, the punch yeah, guy. Bullying the yellow dude. Um, yeah, yeah. so maybe, maybe we could go episode, episode by episode because it's like, mm. it's like yay or nay sort of vibes. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah, let's see if I remember. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. But it's always a A, B plot type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, with the, with the Except for one oh, yeah. episode, I think, where, where it, was it was just Alan's Alan. adventure. Oh, I think that was yeah. the, the well. The, the B plot was the, literally the they, they kind of made fun of that formula because the B plot was Pim yeah. and uh, Charlie going to uh, do a thing, but they, they would never talk about what they actually did. They said it was just the best mission they've ever done. Yeah, and I think that was clever. Episode one was the Grimly one. With Windy. Grimbly, like the ooh 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 <laughs> little oh, yeah. video game character. I watched I wish, that yeah, like, like actually way back when it aired. They did they aired it like on April Fools. Mm. As like a bit, I guess, for like, like one day. Yeah. And then they deleted it immediately after. So I, I did see that back when it came out, but like yeah, it's it's a I reckon video game. Good, good stuff. Oh, I, I love, love their it. use. I think, I think they, they doubled down in this just... season of using different like animation styles. Oh yeah, as well yeah, as like yeah. live action and stuff. And that's good. Yeah, a bit more experimentation. Yeah. Did you like, like Grimbley's definitive re remastered enhanced edition something? I thought it was yeah video game meta funny. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, you, They reference a bit of video game. Uh, points of contention in yeah. the video game industry and they'd be like oh my god old yeah. series old characters but what about new game how about a remaster enhanced edition yeah 4k hd and the ceo was so real exactly yeah, i could probably think of some ceos <laughs> in the gaming industry that i like him todd howard not really but you know i mean todd howard's kind of a g well, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I, he's, he's like, like the, the least of the world. Like, there's actual, like, bad, bad people. Uh, Activision guy. Yeah, Bobby Kotek. Uh, Blizzard guy. Is it the same guy? Yeah, Activision. Okay. Uh, the uh, CEO Minecraft of Ubisoft notch. is probably terrible. Because he's French. Because he's French. And all of the crimes <laughs> that went on there <laughs> as well. Um... They also do the thing of like sitting on IP and not using it, like they did with Princess yeah. Persia until this year. Hey, yeah, real. But yeah, good episode. And it's kind of like, yeah. uh, what's that movie with the with the squirrel? Alvin and the Chipmunk. The other one with the adventure squirrels. Because they they made them like, oh, the characters are actually real and they have lives. Oh, Chippendale. Oh, Chippendale. Chip yeah. And now they're washed up and shit. You know, yeah, I, watched I watched that movie like twice. twice. <laughs> you did? Yeah, I watched it like the day after we watched it again with someone else. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because that was like an interesting movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Episode two, Mr. President. That was kind of funny. That in, was in funny. our current times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's kind, kind of, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, they, they do, do also, also do a clever thing of like, like it's not really. really I, guess I guess it is kind of political commentary in the sense that like they're commenting on the state of politics, but not like going like which side. They don't really talk about sides. Yeah. Yeah. It was just the the overall is that system. Yeah. System. yeah. And that uh, I like to have <laughs> everything is controlled by the world. That's me. Yeah. It's the deep state, man. Um, Gleb came yeah. along at the end. That was that was. Glipped up. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Good. Good episode. Yeah, it was funny. They got live action president man. Yeah, with the chicken or oh, the Ooh. lamb. Keeps eating lamb. Yeah, yeah, that was real. Um, episode three was the Alan one where he goes on a little side quest to get the paper clips. Yeah, I thought this episode was great. I feel like a lot of the budget went into this episode because they have that long action sequence <laughs> helicopter chase. Oh yeah, it's true. They did. Goldie, yeah. Most action packed. Yeah. I mean, then, yeah, the best action pack of the Smiling Friends series mm-hmm. where you're craving action. Like, um, nah, yeah, this is great. I love Alan. Alan's just a crazy character, you know? And um, his little paperclip adventure and the, the hostage situation at the end. Yeah. With the... Uh, the landlord. The bomb. Yeah, with, the, with yeah. the bomb. That was funny. Good episode. That's a, that's a good for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> episode four, Erm, the boss finds love. I love this episode. I thought it was so good. Oh, yeah. The, that was the Halloween married. episode. Spooktastic. Spooktastic one. Yeah, yeah. I think it was a banger. Uh, yeah, it's spooky. You know, that's spooky. spooky. That's why you don't get married, kids. Because <laughs> the... Wife bad. That's all. <laughs> yeah. uh, um, episode five, Brothers Egg, with uh, Joel Haver. Mm, yeah. yeah, I love this episode. Yeah. It was Joel Haver. Um, they kind of do a bait and switch for this one, where it seems like you're meant to be there. Uh, Pim and Charlie go to help um, the mad scientist with the egg, but it actually turns out to be helping the mad scientist because of his living situation. Yes. And then I guess his relationship with his brother. Because the egg is only half of the problem. Yeah. I suppose. And the little egg pops out at the end. Okay. The little egg guy. Egg guy. Yeah. Good episode. Then, oh, sorry, yeah. So did he fuck a chick? Uh, he put his DNA he, in an egg. He put his sperm in. His DNA. Whatever that's going to yeah. be. Yes. Because it was a good episode. Yeah. Uh, episode six. Charlie, yeah. Pim, and Bill versus the alien. Oh, the aliens. Yeah, this is the... Yeah, they go to an alien party. Yeah, yeah. I thought this was a good episode as well. They go they go up party, like, with the alien. Then they blow up a planet. Then they blow up a planet. And the Earth is flat. <laughs> Confirm. Yeah. That was a good, good episode bit, yeah. so far. I feel like yeah, they they're all pretty entertaining. Yeah. Amusing. But wait, one more episode. The last one. Wait, where's episode seven? Missing. It says episode six and episode eight. What was episode seven? No, it was the 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 the, the the pen pal guy? Yeah, 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 right, yeah. Yeah. The spam terpy one. It's not listed on Google for some reason. Yeah. But the spam terpy one, I thought that was also great. It was, you know, also funny different animation thing. Yeah, true. And that was a Pim and Boss Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New one. Um and it had a nice cute little foot twist, I guess. The, it being the pen pal. Yeah. 
And it kind of because of it her at the end when they're driving away and then the teleporting waitress. Yes. Basically. All his bell oh, goes. Cool. Yeah. The chaos, but it ends well. Yeah. It was the last one, Mr. Snowman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christmas me. Yeah, a great Christmas episode. Yeah. Makes them, it's like an Olaf type beat. But sad. Olaf if he was real. Olaf if he was real. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> good episode. Yeah, good season. Good I enjoyed season, it. You know? Good season. Yeah, this is <laughs> kind of... No, no L's, all W's. I'll say sorry. the one the L thing L's. about the season is it could it should be longer, bro. Yeah, you know. Maybe Only more episodes, episodes or longer episodes. Just Do you think like, longer episodes would ruin the formula? Yeah, I reckon longer episodes would. But, you know, maybe we could do like twice. Well, you know what the old school cartoons did back in the days was every episode, like for kids shows especially, yeah. they'd usually do like double episodes because it'd be like 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, episode. like Tom and Jerry. Probably, yeah. They have two stories or something. Yeah. Because if you think about it, like, you know, like, yeah, yeah. House of the Dragon is like eight episodes, but that's because each episode is an hour. Yeah. But like, but uh, maybe they did have more stories they had, but they were like, all killer, no filler, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, all, yeah. The, all the top Which ones I guess just... would be the preferred thing, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it makes it a really easy watch, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Shall we give verdict? All right. Uh, Smiling Friends Season 2. I liked it. Bit of fun. Uh, no L's here in my book, I guess. But you know, the funnies are up to your own discretion. You may not think it's funny. You may think it's funny. But I thought it was a bit funny. So I'm going to give it an 8. 8. That's real. Um, yeah, straight up another great season of Smiling Friends, you know. Um, hmm. I'm thinking about it. Is it better than season one, though? Because I feel like season one had the more classic episodes. But to yeah. be fair, I've seen season one so many times that, like, How many maybe times it's great in my mind. I don't know. Love lost count, bro. Damn, so sometimes I just feel like I'm going to watch it. Because yeah, yeah. they go only go for 10 minutes, and I'm just like, well, I'm do. doing something, I might just watch it. Another I feel like this one's not quite as good as the first season. But that could just be because of, like... You need to watch it three more times. I need to watch it three more times. I really like the Grimbley episode, though. That's, I feel like Grimbley episode is a mm. certified classic, but also at the same time, that's the one I watch the most times. Yeah, <laughs> there might be a correlation there. Um, yeah, maybe like a... You know, but still out of fairness, I reckon... Like, I'm going to go with the, the high of the high, bro. I'm going to give it a All 10. Right. Oh, dang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a big... So you're saying season one is a higher than 10? I think yeah. that... Uh, I'd say yeah. out of fairness, like, probably about no, 10. both about 10. Yeah. That's the way I would... Yeah. Which is, like, yeah. my average score of 9 out of 10. That's it's pretty right. high, I'd say. Oh, to quote the music world and this one guy, Adam Neely, relating to your watching uh, habits, Repetition legitimizes. The more you watch something, the more it legitimizes your head. Yeah. And you think it's what better. That's why the more I do this podcast, the more I think, wow, we're a real <laughs> podcast. We're a podcast. Yeah. Back. Now that shall was we... smiling. Yeah, that was smiling, friend. Shall we talk a little? Ooh. Quiet. A quiet place. Yeah. Yes. A quiet place, day one. On this day is one. the prequel to the two quiet place films that have come out. Right. New director, new cast, except for one. Um, Lupita Nyongo is. And Joseph Quinn are like the main duo of this movie. Mm -hmm. um, they're like the main characters, but also, um, what's his name? That that the dude who's like the who's Star Lord guy. 
you do? Uh, I don't know his name. But you don't even talk about right? The dude who says he's Star Lord in the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, he has like the sun in this movie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's back from Quiet Place too. So this is kind of like. So w- once I kind of knew that, I kind of knew where this story might be going, in terms of like how they have to like what's humanity's plan at the end because basically. Without spoiling this movie, humanity has kind of like a little safe haven in uh in the quiet place too, because mm. it's an island and there's water around it, and so they just yeah. do they just pretty much live normally. They're loud and do whatever they want until eventually in that movie, there's the a boat and an alien swim. comes on a boat because Dang. they accidentally um they had a fight in like a harbor area and yeah yeah you know. Why couldn't but, the aliens just figure out, ooh, boats, I can get on a boat. They're not that smart. I don't, yeah, I'd assume they're not that smart. But to be honest, I don't know. I, and if you're expecting to find out more about the aliens, you're not going to get that in this movie. It's about, yeah. you know, it's about the same. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's kind of like, I guess, the context from the other movies. It's, yeah, mainly linked to the last one mm. which is cool yeah did you did you enjoy this film you've never seen a quiet yeah place. i have not this is my first experience with the quiet place universe and uh, i would say yes i enjoyed this movie i thought damn that was real yeah i mean the concept cool. was pretty cool back mm-hmm. when it came out so if this is your first time with this concept, I guess. I think it works. Yeah. It works. Yeah. And it works uh, very well when every time they have, you have a silent part, someone drops their phone. In the theater? In the theater. Really? That happened like three times. <laughs> you, you drop, drop your, your phone. phone. You're not meant to be on your phone. Exactly. <laughs> that happened three times. And then there's always some guy choking on his popcorn and then like, coughs me. loud. That was, that was you. Theater, yeah. And then there was one, one phone call. Someone had a phone call. They, someone just, just, well, not the hat. They someone has their phone not on silent. They get a phone call. Well, then their phone's not on silent. The, uh, yeah, the the etiquette guys. Come on, guys. Come on. Mm-hmm. That was great. So it was a it was a cerebral experience. Because <laughs> you were like, like damn, you yeah. better really can't shut yeah. the fuck up. Yeah, they can't shut. The fuck. No, that's kind of real. Um, yeah, yeah. I enjoyed this movie too. My kind of general general vibe with all of these movies is they're all good movies, but I feel like like they're never great. Well, they're actually, well, I guess they're like, they're they're kind of like the good, great sort of vibe, but not not like like exceptional, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I feel like they're pretty much up to this point being the perfect, like, 7 out of 10s to me. Yeah. I mean, like, decent apocalypse movies, except this one's kind of, this one's, I guess, a little bit different. Um... Yeah. I feel like this one good though. But also I feel like this one's about the same as the other ones to be honest. Like um See how the older movies more about you know, the fight against the aliens. Or not it, really. It's, They're all the kind same of about the like same humans like about living the, in this yeah. quiet world. Like the first, first one's about a family. Yeah. The second one is also about a family, but they kind of split the family in half and do an A and B plot in a weird, where every, every single scene it's like two seconds of the A plot sw- uh, cut to the B plot, and it's meant to be like mirroring each other for the like yeah. entire movie, which is a kind of like a, I don't know if that gets kind of tiring at the mm. point because it's like damn I can't focus, but um, I don't know. But I guess in this new one, it's that one I feel like more like action oriented. Mm. I feel like this one also is more of a like characters, specific characters doing their stuff in the in the with the aliens going on. In the yeah, and since this is the prequel, it's set in I guess the start. Yeah, when the aliens dropped yeah. from the battle bus, which kind of gives my first complaint is like they didn't do enough of that. That was like three seconds of the not three. Yeah. It was like well, the first like five minutes of the movie was like. It just happens. Uh, yeah. 
even though that yeah, was like, like my favorite part of part two is when they show a bit bit of that at the start mm. and but it actually probably went for longer in that movie even yeah. i don't know um but, but i think this one has like a pretty cool story probably like with the char- like the yeah. main character is pretty interesting Oh, oh, I feel like Joseph Quinn, they showed more work. of him in the marketing, but he's like barely in the movie. Well, he's he kind of halfway, he shows up halfway, yeah, which kind of surprised me. But it, it makes, makes sense because, like, it's really, really her good. journey because she mm-hmm. has um, stuff she wants to do. Well, because, like, like, I guess, I guess without, without spoiling anything, her outlook on life is like very different to everyone else, probably because of yes. the circumstances she's in. And I feel like that's such an interesting point to go off in like this sort of movie because mm-hmm. like everyone else is like hell-bent on survival and all of that yeah, except, except some, some characters. characters some characters are fucking stupid and i, I get it because they want to do the whole people, people are being loud so they die right but yeah, characters will be so like there's one point not spoiling anything a character starts screaming, we're all going to die, at a point where they shouldn't be screaming that, because they're all just chilling. Everyone's just chilling. Yeah, yeah. And they want somebody to just really start screaming, we're all going to die. For no reason. And, like, why, like, they just... I guess, I guess the reason about repetition doesn't make it, like, make it real or something. So, I guess repeating is, like, like, yeah. Well, if anything, if you're using that saying yeah. it makes it realer yeah so like i guess what are you trying to do manifest death bro? yeah he's manifesting so, yeah so then someone just kills him because he just won't shut the fuck up and it's so real because well, i guess like, it's bro, just one of those things where like uh, hysterical there's hysterical yeah. man um in a point but in a point where he shouldn't have been hysterical because they were chilling it was nighttime they were chilling and then nah, but he saw the, the twin towers fall or some shit the, i think the he bridges, saw the bridges yeah. collapse or something see imagine there's probably people saying the same thing when they saw the second tower get hit. No, but this is different. This is like the apocalypse has already happened, bro. You know what True, I mean? It's yeah. like this. But I guess I mean, like the, the point, point where the aliens, aliens have come kind of outweighs the bridge exploding a little bit. Yes. Um. Yeah. Something I guess that has kind of that kind of confused me. This is how did the military figure out so quickly that the aliens can um it's like they hunt by hearing so they figure that out kind of like immediately well what's what's the timeline from when they drop from the battle bus and everyone's gathered in the funny building is that just a day yeah she just like blacked mm-hmm. out and just yeah. up there. it's only been like yeah a few hours or well, they got satellites and shit. The military. Yeah, yeah but, but they they don't know what these creatures are, right? They yeah, don't know but maybe the they have info. Of these creatures. Or like this, they notice some. Shit. Yeah, I don't well, know. you know, if they fly jets over, they they notice. Oh, they, these guys yeah, been but following. You can't us. see like their little human ears on the creature. Like, like you know yeah, how they, they, they have, have like little fucking human ears. Yeah, but that's, that's only if they like the, open up the thing and you can like mm. see barely. Well, if you... And that, that still, still doesn't, doesn't mean, mean they, they, I guess... I mean, I guess... They might maybe not they specifically know that, but like they know that when, if they fly a helicopter over the city, yeah. the, the funny aliens follow. Yeah, yeah but, but like, like, a helicopter's, helicopter's fucking loud. loud. Like, like, yeah, so they, they might not know it's because so of its loud. I, so I, could, I would notice a helicopter No, but would you follow it? No, because I'm not, like, driven by a need to hunt, right? Yeah. Which is... But, like, like, I feel like any animal that's driven, like, well, it's, I'm not an alien alien as well, so it's not like I'm on a new planet, planet, like, going, I'm going to fucking kill everything I see sort of vibe. Yes. Because, like, I guess they they will will also beat up inanimate objects, objects, right? Cars. Yeah, Yeah, they'll they'll beat up cars, so, like. But they probably don't know, but they, they know how to lure them to areas. Yeah. But But the the government specifically goes, everyone be quiet. (laughs) Do they? Yeah. yeah. When the helicopter, they're like, yo, everyone just I thought the they just went up. like, go, go evacuate yourself. No, nah, they did that. That was later yeah. in the movie when they have to do the evacuation. Part, which was a great scene. And they yeah. have all the people kind of coming out together and stuff. Well, they already had, when the aliens dropped, there was already military people there. 
Yeah, yeah that's, that's also so a they, bit they of a, knew something. They, I guess yeah. there is a theory that yeah. they're like weapons or something. Mm. Aliens. I heard that. Maybe the military lured the aliens. So now they could do like a quiet place minus day one or something. Yeah, minus, you know, wait minus. a second. Yeah. Which I feel, I feel is like something that a lot of people you may assume the movie is going to do is explore the aliens more yeah. because you've seen the aliens in the other movies, but this is kind of the it's same the as the other movie. movies is what I mean. Mm-hmm. Cause it's like characters surviving this thing. Um, well, okay, okay without going too much, much in, let's just, just kind of dial it back a bit. Um, in terms of, like, the acting and stuff, right, I thought that was, like, one of the stronger points of the movie. Yeah. I thought the uh, main two were good. Um, they had good chemistry. <laughs> I think they're dating in real life. Damn. Yeah. Um, but, but especially, especially Lupita Nyong'o, she's, like, so good in the movie. Because uh, I guess the mm-hmm. unique thing is, like, try to communicate a lot without yeah, talking. Minimal dialogue. Yeah. I think she does a great, great job of that. The writing around the character is really good as well. Um, In the future yeah. films, do they learn sign language? Because that would be yeah. much easier. Yeah. yeah. They talk in sign language. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. That's why, I mean, there's like no dialogue. Yeah. In a Quiet Place 1, I don't think there's any dialogue. In 2... They do the water thing, I think. Or like, like they will the, the, they'll, they'll talk, talk in areas that make sense. They can slightly whisper in like in a fucking bunker. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Um Got Star Lord man. Yeah. He doesn't he's more of a cameo, but I as I more guess. I guess a reference to that movie. The nurse man. If this is meant to be eighty four years. Before the first Quiet Place, it doesn't make sense timeline wise for him to be there though. Damn. Because he's not yeah, like, like fucking a hundred and hundred and something in the steel. Yeah. Maybe it was forty eight years or something. I don't know. I feel like it's still too many years. I don't know. Because he's really not like that old and eighty years old. I don't know. I feel like dude's like fifty in Quiet Place. Uh, he's that youthful look on it. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, I reckon, yeah, uh, what about the visuals? Because, yeah, what do you think of the aliens? You've never seen these before. No. They look exactly like Demogorgon. They do. Yeah. They do. Stranger Things looking ass. Yeah. And you got Joseph Quinn in the movie. It's very strange. Mm-hmm. You like know, it's freaky uh, little ears. Freaky little. Mm-hmm. Okay. Aliens be like weird four legged fellas. Yeah. I feel like, like I don't know. I like the designs, I guess, but the CGI is not always like good looking yeah. to me. I feel like it would be, they could have done it a little bit more practical. Yeah, it doesn't always close. mesh up the environment. Yeah. But it ain't it ain't that bad, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean it's pretty decent looking. But the cinematography looks good, you yeah. know. Things look nice when they're nice. Yeah. But the New York landscape in its oh, best the form. Life story. Uh, <laughs> the New York I'm really rock again. <laughs> Right uh, after uh, last week where we did the exorcism. Yeah, and yeah. I did the same thing. Yeah. Then Harlem, the bridges fall, all that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. What about the, oh, what do you think of the sound design? Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, it's a, I guess with this movie and I assume with the other ones. It's an interesting exercise in sound design since mm-hmm. no dialogue or minimal dialogue, but you still gotta create the environment around it because the environment can still speak. The monsters don't care, I guess. Yeah. So it's uh, it's it it gets the attention away from the usual. You have your attention on the dialogue, but now you got more attention on the environmental sound design. Yeah. 
Yeah. Definitely, I guess more. There's more emphasis on. For real. Well, especially when she has a cat. That doesn't really apply to the cat. Is the cat is one of the major leading actors. Yeah, yeah, actors. yeah. yeah. And yeah, because the like, like, um, damn, is that cat gonna be okay? Also, yeah, the, the most, most quiet, quiet cat, cat in history. Yeah, no, meow. Because cats are not that quiet in real life. They, they purr. They also, also like scream. Cat, like they will yeah. fucking like, like I don't know. The cat, be, like, yeah. cat, the cat right? heard the government announcement. Be quiet. Yeah. The cat's like, all right. I was like, that's. I bet. Yeah. But it's, it's interesting. It made me think, like, how do you get the cat to do shit in the films? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I guess a tree. You have a trained cat, maybe. But also, like, oh, get the cat to like tap on that door for a while, like in the that early scene. I don't know, but they got yeah. someone somehow. They dangle a treat or something. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. You have to get the cat to specific spots to get the shot. Looking good. Yeah. Oh, every time the cat shows up, some guy next to me. He has this little giggle. I'd be like, yeah. 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 It's really funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's kind of it for non spoiler, right? Yeah. There's a, a bit of a jump scares here and there. Oh, yeah, was it? Yeah, not... Like when creatures will go like run across Ooh. and just knock someone away. So there's a few like booze, like creature be like on your face. Sure. Yeah. I got. I got. I got booze. Yeah. Oh. Right. Right. I mean, is this a horror movie? That's not really, right? No, you you already know what the horror. Is. Yeah. They get yeah. a bit of booze here thriller. and there. Yeah. Romance. Between cat. the cat <laughs> and the world. The cat and the world. All right. Shall we talk some spoilers then? All right. Spoiler zone. All right. Spoiler zone. <laughs> quiet place day one. They're going to make a quiet place day zero. Yeah. Maybe they will minus do one. That. If this movie does well. Yeah. I feel like um, the movie's quite emotional. Yeah. Like it it kind of, I guess, would have feels a little bit. Of... Yeah, I was like, damn. I guess, you know, you make the choices in life you want them. Yeah. Um, I think they set up the relationship of the two main characters pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. And I like seeing them do their stuff. And I like the, yeah, I like the Luffy character's uh, motivation. Because she's like, damn, I want that pizza, you know. Mm-hmm. At first I was like, bro, why the fuck do you keep going on about pizza? But then when they, after the yeah. alien stuff happened, I'm like, oh, I get it now. That's kind of for real. Same. I was like, what pizza? Yeah. yeah what yeah, that yeah. pizza? But then she explained. Because yeah. there's meaning in there. Yeah. I oh, guess. Damn, yeah. yeah, we were tiptoeing around it earlier, but yeah, her character has cancer, so it's like she doesn't even have like that long to live. So basically, she's yeah. like. Yeah, she got a dying person's wish. Yeah. But in the middle of a <laughs> big apocalypse, yeah. I guess. And also it's because just... of that different perspective, of like, I'm going to die anyway. Let's do this. Yeah. I think it works really well, especially with like Joseph Quinn's character that like. Isn't going to die, so he wants to survive. Yeah. I guess they both learn stuff from each other, and then she's like, "Yo." Mm-hmm. The real aliens were the friends we made along the way. Yeah. And does she get a pizza? No. Doesn't she get a pizza? It was, it was fake pizza, different pizza that the queen got. Gotta be like that sometimes in the apocalypse. Eating 
one week. That's why it like, like has to take place in a shorter period of time because that pizza would have been fucking. So it's like a couple like, of days old, probably. Yeah, exactly. It would have been like moldy as old hell if it was like a week old. Right? Yeah. Jesus. But it's fake. Even still, it wouldn't last that. It's refrigerated, refrigerated <laughs> in the coldness of the <laughs> real. Um, yeah. Uh, what other things? I mean, this movie has cool, a lot of tension sequences, yeah. you know. I feel like that's when these movies are at their best, you know? Mm -hmm. A lot of like... Yeah, like you were saying in that evacuation part, like in the middle, like later half of the movie, I guess, where yeah. like everyone's kind of coming out of their hidey holes. They're going to evacuate. They're like, damn, will Walk they make down it? The street. They don't make it, they all... Yeah, because everyone yeah. forgot yeah. that you're supposed to be showing. Yeah. Well, that, yeah that's that's kind of the thing, right? It's like... Damn, when the aliens are coming, right? What do you, you just like, like immediately stop what you're doing, bro? <laughs> and just like shut the fuck up. While they're walking? Yeah. They don't know they're there. What? Because the aliens were lured away by the helicopter or whatever, right? No, you know, even when like an alien just like comes down and attacks oh, yeah. some people, right? When you, you just immediately stop. I mean, yeah, the young guys are already, she just gets under a car, right? Yeah. And just stop. But, you know, people be hysterical. Yes, they do. I guess they do. Yeah. The moral of the story is just shut the fuck up sometimes. Eh? Yeah. We could all live. Especially. But we're on a podcast, so we're not going to shut up. Whoa, that's crazy. That is cray cray. Imagine if we did a prank and did like a quiet place review and then the entire video is just like <laughs> Um, yeah, I like the ending where you like lures the monsters away so you can get on the mm -hmm. boat, which is the boat that is going to the island thing that I was talking uh, about yeah. in a uh, quiet place too. It seems like there were more of them this time than there were on the island. I on the boat? Maybe there could be a sequel to this movie where everyone on the boat, like half the people on the boat like die or something. They got kicked off. Yeah. Yeah. See, if they shut down the bridges, does that mean the other part of New York is fine? That's, That's something I've always wondered. I'm like, did this just affect, like, specific parts of America yeah. or something? But I think the... Because the visual you're given, right, is the splitting thing and the different asteroids and stuff. I think yeah. it's meant to be, like, the whole world and areas where they got different things. Yeah. But I guess it's, you can yeah. burn the bridges to stop them moving. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the cat did a dumb thing. Or he just kind of walked into the nest. Also, these aliens, aliens can still be, like, wounded by bullets. Wait, it's just die. Oh. Like, double. They're not, they don't have the super armor. No, I'm pretty sure they just get shotgun blasted. Or maybe they do have some slight armor because the way they defeat them in uh, the other movies is they have this like sound thing, right? A hearing aid. Uh. And then they like do something so it creates like a ringing thing. Okay. And it just like fucks up the aliens for a bit. I guess while they're fucked up they can just like shoot them. Right. But I can't remember if that like opens up their th face or something. It's like a... They have to shoot in the mouth. Or something. Or something. Yeah. The face mouth. That might be what they have to do. I don't know. Which I feel like the military would kind of, if they know about this quiet thing, surely, I don't know. Surely they would figure something out. And like the military with all their guns and shit, wouldn't they immediately be like, we gotta find the weak point of this fucking was? Yeah, but they got bash. I guess. I mean, the aliens can't really get up to the helicopters. Nah. I feel like the, 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 my, uh, my overall kind of complaints with the franchise is there's a lot of kind of logistic plot holes the way they kind mm. of go around. I don't know. I feel like even when in... This is more of a complaint about the other movies. 
when like someone's coming out with you with a speaker and like the hearing aid, right? And they're like boosting this audio thing and that's like you're going, ah fuck, I can't hear or whatever. Wouldn't you just like smack the shit out of that fucking box and destroy it with your really fucking long arm? Well, the, I guess the aliens, since they're super sensitive, <clears throat> it were, they have super sensitive hearing, they're too overwhelmed to do that. I guess. That's the logic in it. I guess it is. So they're just, you know, spazzing out in place. Yeah. They're tripping balls. I guess that's why they haven't made a proper explanation for the aliens. Then they have to ex- explain all the military shit and all that. Yeah. Which is what I think they should have kind of done yeah. in this movie. They could have done that. Yeah. All right. So I guess overall thoughts, kind of for me, it's like, yo, yeah. this is another like, like good story good with movie. characters in this environment, but it doesn't really go as far to expand on anything from the previous movies, even though it kind of marketed itself as gonna be doing that. Um, the day yeah, one stuff kind of happens for like 10 minutes at the start of the movie and then it's kind of like just normal with hints of stuff thrown in there that kind of is interesting like with the uh, kind of like sanctuary stuff and uh, the boats and all of that and I guess having some sort of military presence is good I guess to acknowledge the military exists and I'm just fucking yeah. around but um I'm surprised, surprised, especially yeah, America's America. like this country with like so many guns, bro. What do you, you just be? Yeah, why don't the the, the fellas football, on the yeah. ground? They don't carry. They're not strapped. Yeah, I mean, I I guess in New York, people are just strapped like rural areas. Yeah, shit. but um, yeah, I don't know. Still, I think good movie, right? Yeah, because if it's just. Everyone's trapped. It's just like a zombie movie where everyone's zombie. Yeah, I did call. I did just call the alien a zombie at one point when oh, I was saying yeah. so I didn't think of that. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, yeah. Final verdict. All right. Yeah, I liked this one. You know, it's a good watch. It was extra cerebral with my audience. Uh, kind of proves the movie's point, I guess. Yeah. One point of it to be like, damn, humans be like. I did hear some reviewers be like, this one might be better to just watch at home and not in the theater mm. because of the audience. Because pretty much <laughs> every review had the same issue yeah. with the audience to be loud. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of. What do you call it? What's the word? It's not delegitimized, but it brings down the effect of the silent parts. Yeah. The the tension there, because yeah. someone's just just someone would be like, <coughs> that yeah. Yeah. yeah, or some drop their phone for some reason two stairs down, yeah, yeah, but good story. I like the characters. Uh, the environments were cool. Cats fun. Uh, yeah, tension bits they work, and I like the the general vibe. Maybe I want. Maybe I'd watch the the other ones. I'll give this a seven. That's real. Well, I did say this was like the perfect seven out of ten series mm. in my opinion. But I'm also gonna give it like a seven out of ten. Nice. That is good as the other ones. But I feel like this one just had more potential mm. to explore more stuff. So I guess that's a little bit disappointing. But I think this is one of the. I think this had a better story than the last one. In terms yeah. of like, because the last one was kind of just like, well, going on separate side quests. Also, hey, it's uh, Killian Murphy. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. That's a combined 7 out of 10 score from your boys. What's fun? Hell yeah, yeah. Tell us what you think in the comment section below. Yeah. Um, that's about it, right? Yeah, so that's, that's about it. it. All right, just a uh, reminder for the next two weeks. We shall be on break. On break. Uh, shout to Sun Man here. Uh, break in peace. Mm-hmm. Uh, anticipate our upcoming 
content besides the podcast in our YouTube channel and our TikTok and our Instagram pages yeah, yeah. at Unholy Dot Pod on those and the Unholy Trinity podcast or the Unholy Trinity on the YouTube. Keep tabs on the on the Spotify podcast and Apple Podcast or wherever you listen to your podcast for our episode in two weeks, I guess. Yeah. And we'll be seeing you then. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.